So tonight I'm gonna party like it's 1999. <laughs> oh man, that's Prince. 2016 sucked. Hey potatoes. I don't, hold on. I don't mean like you look like a potato. I say potato as a term of endearment now because it's like the best word in the whole world to say potato. Anyway, hey guys, let's say goodbye to 2016 and hello to 2017 together. This is a get ready with me New Year's Eve style. So whether you just need to do makeup or whether you want background music to get ready to or you want to see a cute dog, cute dog. I don't have a plan. Actually, I don't have a plan so bad that this is my second attempt filming this look. <laughs> because I just wiped off the one I started doing because I hated it. Second time's a charm. Ripley, could ya, could ya leave me alone? This is my makeup hand, I need it. So the first thing I attempted to do that I didn't like was like really generic. It was just kind of like whitish to a gold to a brown smoky thing with glitter on it. But it just didn't feel right. So, I'm out of focus because I'm gonna show you my phone in a second. I saw these really cool New Year's Eve nails on the internet. Eh? Yes. And I thought they were really cool. And then I remembered the time I did this a long time ago, like a really long time ago. This is day 69 of 100 days of makeup. Yeah, I did this like little cutout in the liner, which I saw somewhere else. But I'm not sure who started this. I definitely was not the first, but I don't know who to give credit to here. So if you know, you let me know. But I wanted to do this again, and inspired by that nail picture that I just showed you with the glitter in the center, because I think that's really cool. I guess the first thing I'll do is the liner. Because I need to, like, I need to know if I'm gonna get that right, because if I'm not gonna get it right, then why waste time doing the other stuff first? I already have on my foundation and my brows because those are rather boring parts of a get ready with me and I didn't want this video to be too long. So to save time, we skipped them, they're on. There's just foundation on my face and, and brows where there used to not be any because shark attack. So liner, I'm gonna be using Tartist Clay Liner from Tarte. It doesn't autofocus, so I'm gonna hold by my face. This is the best eyeliner in the entire world in my opinion, in the entire world because it's like a gel and a liquid liner if they had a baby, and that baby was also the best human on the entire earth. Not sponsored, just love it. Then I'm gonna take a Sigma E06. It's like a skinnier angled brush, like less less wide than other ones. I really like it for my winged liner. And we're just gonna wing it. <laughs> Last time I winged it, I pulled duct tape off my face. I already have, oh shoot, I already have primer on my lids which means I should put an eyeshadow down before I jump into the liner to like get rid of the primer stickiness. I'm gonna take this really cool palette. It's the Too Faced Kat Von D collab palette and it does this magnets. How do they work? I'm gonna take Kat Von D's side and the gold champagne -y color, Love Struck. And I'm just gonna put that all over my lid right now. Like I said, just to cover up that primer base that I already have. Primer is like cracking. Wait a minute. What the suck? Now, to jump into the eyeliner. I'm gonna start out making the V, cause that's, that's where the test is really. So, how was everybody's 2016? I know the running joke is that it was the worst year ever, and for many reasons I can see why. But how was like your individual year as a person? What did you do this year? What was your favorite thing you did? What was something new you learned how to do? New accomplishment? Any new hobbies maybe? This is already looking strange. Despite being concerned for the world, for many reasons, I actually had a pretty fantastic 2016 because I've made a lot of really important life changes this year that really, really needed to be made. Hmm. This is actually starting to look like my How to Wing Your Eyeliner video, which is not a good thing. 
Oh, but yeah, so lots of good things this year. On a personal development level, I kind of did a number on myself in 2015 trying to make my YouTube dreams come true. I just worked my butt off and I didn't do anything in between videos. I had no personal life and I got out of shape and I gained weight and I just was mentally feeling awful and anxious and stressed. But so much has changed this year in so many good ways. I'm mentally so much happier than I was. I've done a lot, a lot, a lot of work to get to a better place mentally and to change my perspective on things and to be less anxious. I've completely changed the things that I eat. I've cut out almost all animal products. Started working out with a trainer so that I'm really, really serious about fitness because I've always wanted to be really fit and you know, I kept making excuses for myself, but not anymore. The way that I work is much healthier than it used to be. I'm getting back to having a life, which is great and I can still keep up with the content and the quality of my videos. And this looks kind of strange. Well, let's try to add glitter and see what happens. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do a whole eye before I even try the next eye. But anywho, what I'm trying to say is, despite being very scared for the world for many reasons, I feel like I am at least a much better version of myself to start dealing with those things outside of my control, which is pretty much everything except for my emotions and my reaction to things and my actions in response to my reaction to things. So I'm gonna use this eyelash adhesive and I'm gonna put it, why is there a, I'm gonna put it on the V part of my eye. I'm gonna change the shape of that V and then I'm gonna put glitter, gold glitter on top of that. Yes, that's the plan, okay. I'm using eyelash glue so that hopefully this sticks truly just where I want it to be. Sorry, I'm intensely concentrating right now. What does that look like to you? Because from the monitor, it's, it's not looking cute. There's gotta be a way to fix this. I'm gonna fix this. Now I'm gonna go back with the eyeliner and I'm gonna try to clean up the edges of the glitter. Alright, alright. It's looking better. Alright, not bad. I think what needs to happen now is I need to smoke out this black a little bit at the top because it's just too intense or it stops too immediately or something, something of that nature. I'm gonna take the black shade in this palette called Devotion and I'm gonna use that to smoke it out a bit at the top in a small pencil brush. Well, and now I have black all over my nose. Trick to getting fallout off of your face or brush hairs off of your face that are shedding is to put a big fluffy brush like up in an up direction and to swip, swip it, swip it, swip it, swip it good. Put this and swipe it up really quickly, like flick up really quick. Same with brush hairs, you just kind of. I think the next thing this could use is a bit of a transition shade too, right above the black. Okay, so I need a transition color. I'm gonna go to the other side. I'm gonna take Friendspiration from the Too Faced side. It's this, eh, everything's backwards. This, this, yep, yeah, that peachy, coppery, tannish, tannish color right there. That's Friendspiration. That's what I'm gonna use as a transition color. Right at the top of this. I like this, but I think I need to smoke out the lower lash line to decide. So, while I smoke that out with the same colors, let's see, Friendspiration, I'm also using Power Couple, which is this dark brown right under Friendspiration. This technique is also great for covering under eye bags, because you basically just fill in those under eye bags with shadow, and then you can't see them. It looks like it's on purpose. How great is that? Perfect for New Year's Eve when you're up 
super late. See now this is where it's difficult because in person this doesn't look that crazy but on the monitor it looks like I have a black eye. Like a punch black eye, not like a cute smoky eye black eye. Say it's just one of those days. decided it's gonna work. It looks really intense right now, but I think when it's evened out, it'll look good, and this little flashy triangle thing on my eye, it's pretty fun. It's like, surprise! I did wear glitter on my face today. Going to tight line under my waterline. It's really hard for me to talk while I'm doing makeup. I don't know how other people do it. Maybe it's just something you get used to. Especially when you're trying to hold a conversation with yourself, you know? I also brought this eyeliner down in the corner of the eye to give it more of a cat shape, that way it's not just like And now I'm going to do mascara. And I'm gonna do the other eye now. Same stuff we did over here, but over there. All right, I actually think that's gonna be even. Woo! I think I'm actually gonna blend out the top of this a bit more first before I do the glitter this time. I think that would have made my job easier last time. This is our identity. Okay, now that those are even, or as even as they're gonna get, it's time for lashes. I doubt you guys can hear it, but there's a man screaming outside of my apartment building right now going, Woo! 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 Someone's ready for New Year's. These lashes are iconic by House of Lashes. They're one of my fave styles ever. Oh my God. Come here, you're gonna wait with us while we wait for these to dry. What was your favorite part of this year? Was it turning one? Was it eating things you're not supposed to and then vomiting them up? Was it going to Arizona and chasing snakes? Was it eating chicken and rice when it's a holiday or your birthday? The Headless Ripley. <laughs> so tell me in the comments below what your favorite thing of this year was. Keep it positive. Tell me what you're gonna do next year, 2017. If you have resolutions, how you plan to stick to them, I wanna know. As for me, I plan on making my content even more centered around all the things I love. Many of you already know that film is my other big passion. It's what I went to school for. And I really like making the kinds of videos like the Deadpool tutorial and Paranormal Activity, the fake live stream, the top 10 Halloween costumes video. Those are all my favorite videos that I've ever made on this channel because they combine makeup and filmmaking and storytelling and more goofy narrative type things and that's really my favorite stuff to do. So I wanna make my content more about that because the more I enjoy making my content, I think the better it would be for everybody, not just for me, but for the people watching it. So that is always the aim. I think I, I've worried too much that people won't like it if I'm not doing something that's very intensely makeup related. So I try to sneak in ways to get my other passions like film or clothing or something like that. I try to sneak those in in other ways by doing videos like Now You See Me Too. That video was so fun for me to make because it wasn't just makeup. But I always worry that people are gonna get mad if I branch out a little bit more. And then I realized this year that life is short and I need to do what I enjoy doing and what makes me happy and the people that wanna stick around for that will and the people that like that stuff the best will come. And that's just all there is to it. I didn't wait at all for that lash glue to dry. I stuck it right on my face. It's going okay though so far. I really feel like I need lower lashes, but I don't think I have any. Pause. Found these really tiny little things. You can't see these. There you go. These are Darling from House of Lashes. And I have the shortest lashes underneath my eyes and on top of my eyes up here. I've got short lashes, y'all. And they're invisible, so. I effectively don't have lashes, even though I technically do. 
Anyway, so I really need help in that department if I want that, that big, glamorous spider crawling out of your eye look. I don't think anyone's actually going for that look, specifically. You know what I mean, though. I probably can't see the difference from there, but up close it really opens the eye, makes it look like a more complete picture. Okay, so now we need to put some color back into our face because these black, smoky eyes are so heavy that it just washes the rest of you out. I'm taking an angled brush like this and the Kat Von D shade and light palette, and I've been using this metal one a lot. This one tends to turn me gray a lot for whatever reason. So I've been using the really warm one lately. This palette's really nice because it's so pigmented. I'm gonna pull the wig back for a sec. You know how it is. That looks so dark on camera and it does not look dark in person. That's terrifying. Oh, that was a mistake. Oh God, what have I done? Okay, there's a, there, I couldn't see. It looked clean, but there's apparently highlighter on this brush. <laughs> and now my cheek's gray. All right. I'm back. Hmm. And a little bit right under the tip of the nose. Oh, I should have done the whole get ready with me in that accent. How fun would that have been? Okay. Then I'm gonna take this highlighter from Makeup Geek. This is psychedelic. It's like a white, but it has a a goldish yellow undertone. I'm gonna put a little bit on the top of the cheekbones. Can you see that? Okay, so it's got like a pinkish tint actually. Something doesn't seem right with my eyeballs, so I'm gonna use this glitter liner from Tarte. It's double sided. Let's see what's going on here. Ooh, it's like foil metallic on one side and Straight glitter on the other. I want to do a little accent on my eyes somewhere. Okay, so I did two little marks in the inner corners, and then I'm gonna go in with the glitter on top of that line. Otherwise, the glitter doesn't really show up that much. I like that stuff. I'm gonna use this more often. Yeah. Last but not least, the lips. Going to keep them neutral since the top is so heavy. I mean, I don't think you have to keep the lips nude or neutral if you do a really intense smoky eye, but sometimes I still like to. And in this case, I would like to. I think our lips with a brownish pencil. I'm basically gonna do my everyday lip trick that I did a video on with a couple different colors. Just a more gold focused lip. What are your guys' plans for New Year's Eve? Doing anything crazy? I think that Boy in a Band will be staying with Chase and I over New Year's. We're gonna have a little New Year's sleepover. We've been hanging out with him a lot while he's here in town. And then he's going back to his hometown across the pond. Sad face. Then I'm taking Nude by Melt, which is one of my favorite lipsticks ever, ever, ever. I'm just kind of concentrating that in the center. Blend. And then... This. This is Gilded by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And it is our last step. It's a little more peachy than I anticipated, but... You know, it's, it's more peachy than I anticipated. I'm gonna wipe some off. Add some nude back in. Blending it out. And done. I'm not used to being tan and blonde and wearing a clubbing type outfit and clubbing type makeup. I feel like a whole new person. I like it. This is fun and it's very New Year's Eve. This is like clubbing Barbie. So you can see my dress a little bit better. It's full of sparkles. It's actually pretty comfy considering how itchy it looks like it would be. So this is the final look. We did it, we did triangle things. 
It looks like tiny little gold daggers are stabbing me every time I close my eyes. Okay, okay, I can't, I can't do that. But. Thank you guys for getting ready with me on New Year's Eve. And please, before you go, I have one favor to ask of every zombie watching. If you do go out tonight for New Year's Eve or another night for New Year's Eve, which wouldn't be New Year's Eve, but it would still be for New Year's. If you go out, please, whatever you do, just be very, very careful and do not drive drunk. I cannot stress that enough. It's not worth the risk. Don't even, it's, it's not cute, it's not. Call an Uber, call a Lyft, call a friend. There are lots of options and lots of ways for you to have fun on New Year's Eve safely. Don't get in a car with anyone who has been drinking and is then going to drive, just don't do it. Also, watch out for drunk drivers because I'm sure they'll be on the road no matter what. You wanna be really glam on New Year's Eve, but you don't wanna turn into gore. But besides that, have a lot of fun, and I will see you guys next year. See ya, 2016. You're outta here. What am I supposed to be doing right now? Oh yeah, beauty shots. I need to go before people think I'm drunk recording this. Bye.